Hey, what's up guys? Tony here and you're watching some Project Cars. Now this is a very special Project Cars video because I'm actually using this as a, a training exercise, you know, um, using it to take uh, some sim experience and hopefully put it into real life. And so, uh, as you can tell with the content that I've been posting lately, um, it has been some real life racing stuff, so some drag racing. So, that's what I'm doing. I, I think right now we've got it going on about twice a month, so I'm going to do my best to go twice a month. I'd like to keep up, keep practicing, and just have some fun. And basically, like I said in one of my previous videos, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm uh, doing some mods. Usually I do about a mod a month go to the track and see what my uh, my times are see how they improve or if they don't improve hopefully they do improve so um, I'll explain that in my next video the next racing video because the next race is on Friday so hopefully I can get it posted by Sunday uh, or just late late Friday night so anyways what does this have to do so I'm a part of a, it's a Ford Focus and a Ford Fiesta ST San Diego forum so um, what do they call it SDST I think it is San Diego ST Anyway, so I'm part of this um, Facebook forum, and so one of the guys, he runs track days in this green uh, Fiesta ST. And so they run up at Willow Springs. And I, I knew that uh, there are some you know track days around here. Uh, a friend of mine, Kristen, she she used to race her motorcycle at a track called, uh, I believe it's Chuckwalla. So he, uh, he posted a video about uh, you know showing off. He had like, I don't know, four GoPros attached to his car. And so he did a lot of different perspectives throughout the course of the day uh, at Willow Springs. And so I was like, you know what, I really want to do that. That's one of the things that I've, I've wanted to do for a very long time. And I talked about it in my uh, year in review video where I said, I want to see if the skills that I've learned here in the sim world, you know, through iRacing and then through sim cades like Project Cars. I really haven't learned anything through Project Cars. It's more just applying the things I've learned in iRacing to another sim or to a sim cade like Project Cars. But... Uh, in the case of Project Cars, they actually have Willow Springs as a track you can run. And so what I was actually noticing is that you, the, the track layout that they are running is not available in Project Cars. They've got two different ones. They've got the, um, the normal uh, Willow Springs and they've got the Willow Springs, which is like the something mile, like Hikeman's mile. I don't know what the hell it's called, but that's not the track either. So when I was looking at the Track Days website, they actually have days where they sponsor the quote-unquote big track, which I imagine is the full Willow Springs track. And so I said, well, you know what? That'd be good practice. This is, this is exactly what I want to practice for. So what I did, as you can tell, we're well into it by now, but uh, I have a Ford Focus RS, the one that's in Project Cars, and um, I'm at Willow Springs. And so I'm just trying to get an idea for... Uh, for the line and hopefully for the braking zones and obviously things are going to be different when you get into the real world um, but getting an idea of the line down is really important because this is honestly a track I've, I've raced this track I think it was in like Gran Turismo 2 or 3 I can't remember exactly which one maybe it's 3 or 4 I don't remember but anyways not no no so it wasn't 2 maybe it's 3 or 4 the point is though is I've never really liked this track I just don't get it like I just there there are some parts like long sweeping corners I just don't understand them and I don't understand them in iRacing racing either, and so that's kind of the point. It's like I want to hopefully get to a point where I'm so familiar with the track that now I understand it's not laser scanned, so it's not going to be precise. It's not going to translate perfectly, but uh, the goal is to be able to go and and have less of a learning curve when I do get a chance to go. So I I think it'll be I don't know. Maybe next uh, January or February. I have to look. It's kind of expensive too. It's pretty damn close to two hundred dollars. So when I go, I'm gonna make sure to have the whole weekend off and go up there and have a good time. But still, um, that's pretty much it. I, I don't think I'm gonna post a ton of these, but I just thought I would just kind of share some of the things that I'm trying to do. Um, and I think mostly I'm excited about it just because of the fact that I'm trying to translate the skills. The hopefully, I, <laughs> I hope I have skills, but I'm trying to translate the things that I sort of now uh, innately know through sim racing and translate that to a real world experience. And so, I mean, I'm completely aware that, that it's not going to translate 100%. I mean, that's that's like would be bonkers to think that I can go out and run, run, you know, um, you know, fantastic times with no real track experience. So I get that. I mean, <laughs> that. For anyone who thinks that they can go from the sim world to real world and and not have a learning curve is um just lost touch let's put it that way 
because I noticed that in any comment sections, you know, it just you know, it'll happen where someone's like, well, you know, this is gonna be different. If you're like, yeah, I'm aware, I got it. You know, if you don't understand it, I think that you're delusional. So, anyways, that's kind of the goal right now. Um, the, for me, it's it's an exciting period because uh, this is something I've really always wanted to do. And frankly, I haven't had a car to do it. Like the last two cars I owned were not, they're not fast cars. <laughs> Like my Corolla, you know, I thought, oh, I could just take that. I could beat that around the track. And by, by all rights, I could. But it just wasn't a fun car to drive. Like this car is a, a, a sort of European-inspired like track car. So this is where it's supposed to be. And it would be nice to get it onto a track, not necessarily a drag strip, and just kind of put it through its paces. So anyways, I kind of hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm just going to play out the 15-minute session that it was um, for you guys. And I think I run out of gas towards the end. Uh, don't really remember exactly, but um, as always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I shall talk to you guys later